Moving you forward on Bay Area COVID hospitalizations with encouraging new signs. The most serious cases are declining. Now, as you can see right here, by this time next month, that total is expected to fall 62%. So we could see those hospitalizations sitting around 3,000, just a little bit above there. Now, right now, statewide, they're close to 8,200. This comes as a state mask mandate set to expire. Today at the base, Bob Riddell. He's live for us in Pleasanton this morning. And Bob, some of those places, they say, yeah, you're going to still have to wear those masks inside. Correct. Good morning to you, Marcus. You're talking about Santa Clara County and the city of Vallejo. The mask mandate will not lift tomorrow when it lifts most other places, including Alameda County, where I'm at. So starting tomorrow, you'll nowhere, no longer need to wear one of these when you go into your local coffee shop or other local business. Again, that's starting tomorrow as long as you're fully vaccinated. So just after midnight tonight, the state of California will lift its indoor mask mandate. And as you can see on this map, Eight of the nine barrier counties will go along with that guidance. Santa Clara County says the rate of community transmission of COVID is still too high. Will be several more weeks before it lifts its restrictions. And the city of Vallejo is keeping its indoor mask mandate in place until a city council can meet and discuss this on February 22nd. There are exceptions. You still must mask up inside places like schools, hospitals, and public transit. Also, courthouses in SF, San Mateo, and Alameda County still plan to require masks indoors as well. I think one big difference between the last time we took masks off in June of 2021 and now is that we have more options to keep people away from the hospital even if they get infected and they are at risk for getting serious disease. So it's really important when somebody uh, is older or if they're immune compromised uh, or if they have multiple medical comorbidities, particularly if you're not boosted, uh, to call your healthcare providers, see if you're eligible for Paxlovid, the oral agent for COVID, or monoclonal antibodies. Uh, we have more and more of those uh, increasingly, and they do work uh, exceptionally well at keeping at-risk people away from the hospital. <clears throat> By Thursday, Governor Newsom is expected to announce plans for how California moves to the endemic phase of COVID when it comes to issues like community surveillance and testing protocols. Reporting live here in Pleasanton, Bob Riddell, Today in the Bay.